What's going on, everybody? It's your favorite dating coach, Elliot Scott. And as you can see by the title below, we're going to talk about how not to lose power in the process of going from casual to committed, specifically on, um, I guess, framing what this is. So jumping right into this, trust me, this is very important. A lot of women fall for this. If you listen to what the things I say in this video, everything's going to be okay. So when a guy is sure about you, okay, it is risky for him not to um, court you and go, uh, you know, about the proper way of courtship, dating, uh, consistency, and transitioning into the relationship. Because if he starts playing games and starts doing some BS, um, a high value woman is more likely, and not saying you will, but you are more likely to be like, no, I'm not, I'm not dealing with this. There's other prospects out here who are uh, uh, treating me well. I'm going with them, okay? So if a guy wants a relationship, it's best not to play games. It's best not to be sporadic and all that. It's best to be upfront and then consistently go towards a relationship. So why am I telling you this? Because on the other end, when a guy is unsure about you, but he does like you, which is the situation a lot of you are in, believe it or not. When you're in a situationship, a lot of the times, a guy does like hanging out with you. A guy does, uh, you know, like the, the whatever, the, whatever the hell it is you guys have. He does find you attractive. He does think you're cool, but not enough to commit. However, he doesn't want to make a bad decision. I tell my clients all the time, um, you lose when you make a bad decision, not when you play things through. And unfortunately, the same thing applies with men. If he's unsure about you, he's not going to jump into a relationship because over here, right, the relationship is a risk. I don't want to choose the wrong girl. I'm not sure about a relationship. I'm not going to jump into one. However, at the same time, I'm not going to cut her off because if I cut her off, then, well, then I don't have her at all. I want to keep her right here in the middle. I want to keep her right here where uh, she's not sure what's going on and it's, it's a little slower of a process. I can have fun in the meantime while I am, I'm, I'm deciding and making up my mind. So what usually happens in this sense is you all fall for what I call the contract um, or the negotiation. You, you negotiate wrong. When a guy says anything along the lines of, let's see where it goes, let's see what happens, I'm, I'm newly single, but if the right woman comes along, or if I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna have a divorce, but I'm open to a relationship with the right woman, anything like that, you already lose. Now, to get to the meat of the video, why, oh, sorry, you agree to it, uh, if you agree to it, uh, getting to the meat of the video, why do you lose in that sense? Because what you have to understand is what makes a woman valuable is her time and who she's intimate with. And more times than not, to get to a relationship, you usually spend time with the person. You usually uh, mess around in some sense. Not even sex, just messing around. Again, some type of asset. You have to trade assets. And what you don't understand is to get to a relationship, he has to get his win first. And the reason for that is, again, you have to talk, hang out, trade assets, give and take, and all that type of stuff to get to the relationship. And that's what he wants. That's what he wants. He wants that, okay? So if he gets all that stuff, it only benefits you, right? Because you have to get from point A to point B. It only benefits you if you know that this is framed as, Hey, I like what this is. We're both on the same page. You said you wanted a relationship. Basically, he says, I'm looking for a relationship. And you guys move towards that. Anything else, you will lose. There will be no reason for this man to commit. There will be no reason for him to commit. A lot of the times what happens is a woman gets very hopeful. And I always say a hopeful woman is a confused woman or vice versa. A confused woman is a hopeful woman. Um, and she'll stick around hoping things change and he's going to take advantage of it. But what I really want you to understand from this video is it, he's okay with trading those assets. You're like, oh, he's consistent, Elliot. He treats me. I have a girl. Uh, I, have, I was going to say I have a girlfriend. I don't. But I was going to say I have a lot of clients who come to me 
And they're like, Elliot, I don't know what the problem is. He treats me like a girlfriend. He says this, he says that, he does all these things. If I need him, he's there. He, if I call, he picks up. He doesn't play any fucking games, blah, blah, blah. blah. You know, well, what's the problem? He's willing to pay that price. If you guys are not establishing, establishing, establishing what this is, okay, well, then it's just up in the air. There, it'd be different if you were like, hey, I want a relationship. And he's like, oh, yeah, me too. And then he does all this shit and says, oh, never mind. That's effed up. And yes, that happens. That's way different than the horrible negotiation that you have, which is let's see where it goes. Okay, let, yeah, let's see where it goes. And it's kind of up in the air, or maybe you don't even have the discussion on what you guys are looking for. And then you try to hold it against him. And he's like, well, we never... We never talked about that. I mean, I'm, I'm not really looking for anything. It, it, it's not pretty, okay? It's not pretty. Um, it does not benefit you, and he is willing to pay that price because he's getting the assets without paying the cost. And like I said, it has to go through that transition to get to a relationship. So he's okay going through that transition, then er, stop. And let's just let's just hold it right here for a little bit, okay? And the more you guys give and take and trade and and you know you build the context, you're gonna get hopeful. So to sum all this up, ladies, if you want to be a high value woman and not lose power through the transition of a relationship, you first have to frame it as a relationship because he gets all the stuff he wants over here, okay? It has to go through here, but it's, it's, uh, you don't you don't want to go in here to nowhere. It has to trans, it has to go you know relationship. Instead, uh, it, it just hovers here because again, there's no context to push or there's no uh, contract to push it, um, and then the woman ends up getting screwed. So, ladies, to value yourself, you have to value your time and who you're intimate with. You just don't give it to anyone. You just don't give it to guys because you're interested in them. Uh, because they're cute. They have to earn it and you have to filter them from the very beginning, which is, hey, so what are you looking for? You might say, well, that's freaking guys out. No, no, it's not pushing guys away. It's not freaking them out. It's filtering them. Like I said, if I think you're cute and I want to see where this goes, why in the fuck would that freak me out? Oh, wait, it's because I'm emotionally unavailable. Bingo. You're saving yourself a lot of time, okay? So that being said, ladies, I love you all. Take care and peace.